Good morning. It's uh, yeah, it's uh, Monday morning, and um, I'm a little uh, tired. I thought I'd do a video. <laughs> um, yeah, I oh, just uh, let's get rid of that. Um, there we go. Yeah, uh, this uh, video is about English chewing tobacco. I um, I uh, <laughs> I um, yeah, well, I, as you know, I'm English, uh, and I. You know, I'd like to do a video telling the world that English chewing tobacco is something they should uh, they should try and um, whatnot. But uh, I don't think I'll be doing that. Let me. Uh, I've kept the English chewing tobacco imprisoned in this uh, steel can. It's uh, it needs to be as well. This is English chewing tobacco. It's uh, a rope. Let me just, oh, I can probably see that, yeah, there we go, and there's a little look at the end of it. You need one of these. Cut off a piece about that big. Oh, stick it in your mouth. Uh, this particular rope, uh, what they do is they take the leaves and they spin them. Uh, it's made in uh, by Gareth and Hogart. Uh, in Kendall. Uh, Kendall uh, is uh, a place in, in Cumbria which is uh, up in the right of the north of England in the, what's called the Lake District, made famous by uh, Wordsworth I think probably uh, will be um, uh, somebody you've heard of. It's uh, yeah so they spin it, uh, they take the leaves up there and they spin it. Uh, Kendall, uh, it, I found this out the other day, uh, it's became big, it's a very strange place because it's in the middle of nowhere really and you think why on earth did the most of English tobacco making take place there? Well it's because the water supply really for the mills to make snuff and other such things but anyway um, yeah so they take the, uh, the leaves and they spin them into ropes now the ropes for smoking are much much thicker they're kind of like that gauge uh, Yes, English chewing tobacco. This book is Hood's Poems of Wit and Humour. They're neither witty or humorous. It's the oldest book I own. It was published in 1856. I want you to imagine sitting at home in front of your TV and opening Hood's Poems of Wit and Humour and pulling out the pages, the very old 1856 pages then screwing them up into a ball and uh, chewing them. I have to say that uh, if you can imagine what that would taste like, the pages of a very, very old book being chewed in your mouth, then you'd be on the money. For what that is supposed to, that's black cherry chewing tobacco and I have to say the experience if you can imagine that you know 150 odd year old pages of a book in your mouth being chewed it's a similar experience not a great one <sighs> so there we go English chewing tobacco past the sick bucket uh, it's not very nice uh, it's uh, not something I would recommend. Thankfully, and I hate waste, and in times such as these, when we have a recession on and whatnot all over the world, I don't like to throw things away that can be used or whatever. Thankfully, you can chop that up and smoke it in your pipe. So, that's probably what I'm going to do. I hope that the experience of that is better than the one of actually chewing it. But, um, who knows? Uh, just a little kind of like a history of it. Uh, it was mainly used um, by um, miners and people in heavy industry. And uh, a Mr. R. Young at Gower Fogart told me that uh, it was used to keep the dust at bay. I have to say, I think I think probably coal dust might taste a bit nicer than this chewing tobacco, but. Um, uh, thankfully I have one final can of Copenhagen snuff in my fridge and I'm going to very shortly spit this out and 
uh, have a, at least two large pinches of Copenhagen stuff to take the taste of this stuff away. So, there you go, English chewing tobacco, not recommended. <laughs> Uh, I did say I was going to do that second part of my pipe video thing. I will do that. I I, I, I get arthritis, death arthritis, and I had, it was not very good over the weekend, so I um, didn't get around to doing it. But I'm feeling a bit better now, and uh, hopefully um, uh, I'll get that done for you this week sometime. So anyway, I hope you all have a good week. Don't buy any English chewing tobacco. Uh, Get yourself a nice tin of Copenhagen snuff. That's uh, that's my advice. Okay, cheers. <laughs>